The first live-action adaptation of How to Train Your Dragon is currently being filmed in Northern Ireland, with production having started three weeks ago. Dean de Blois, the director of the original animated trilogy, is returning to helm this project and is also responsible for writing the screenplay. De Blois shared a photo from the set indicating a successful first day of shooting. While the exact location wasn't specified, it's likely to be Hooligan Village on the Isle of Burr. The photo hints at significant structures like a key building or a massive defensive wall. Given that it was the first day of shooting, it's plausible that filming commenced with the movie's first act. The photo also reveals a concept logo for the film, which might not be the final design as changes and refinements are common in post-production. However, you can also observe Toothless's eyes, which also mimic a triangular shape, strongly resembling the version from the animated trilogy. It's currently unclear what design they will choose for the dragons, whether they will make them hyper-realistic, leaning more towards a medieval epic fantasy style like House of the Dragon and The Hobbit. Or perhaps the creators will stick to the elements of the dragon's appearance that are already familiar to many viewers, making them closer to the animated versions. After the first photo, the director also shared a new shot where he's armed with a prop sword and a shield. Behind the director, there are two swords and a shield. De Blois looks like a true rugged Viking warrior. It's also worth noting that the weapon design appears quite minimalistic, and it seems to me that the live-action How to Train Your Dragon will become not an epic fantasy, but a direct adaptation of the animated films. Overall, the decision to turn the franchise into a full-fledged movie with real actors is certainly bold. However, How to Train Your Dragon is truly a popular series that has inspired many with its unique setting. Over its existence, the franchise has collectively earned over half a billion bucks. These animated masterpieces even received three Academy Awards nominations and won the hearts of numerous fans worldwide. Given its rich setting and captivating storyline, the animated films of How to Train Your Dragon all always had significant potential for a full-length cinematic adaptation. The initial rumors about this stirred a wave of excitement among fans, although some of them couldn't help but express their concerns. A live-action adaptation has every chance of becoming successful and laying the foundation for a new trilogy. The announcement that the creator of the animated trilogy would be directing the project itself further fueled enthusiasm. Dean de Blois, known for his work in animation, including projects like Lilo and Stitch and various series based on it, will face a bold challenge, creating his first live-action movie in his career. Despite concerns about potential initial difficulties, it is his unique perspective that could breathe new life into the film industry, expanding the story and the world of an already existing franchise. I'm eagerly anticipating the new hit, recalling how the original animated film released in 2010 introduced us to characters like Hiccup and Astrid, residents of a village on an island, as well as the charming dragon Toothless. Since then, two sequels and numerous TV shows have been released. As a result, DreamWorks and Universal Studios have decided to reboot the franchise in the form of movies. Initially planned for release later this year, the film is now expected in the summer of 2025 due to strikes causing delays. According to Deadline, the release date for the live-action remake of How to Train Your Dragon has been shifted from March 14 to June 13, 2025. Coincidentally, Pixar's Elio is also set to release on the same day. Originally, Elio was expected to debut in March 2024. This change in release dates for both films suggest strategic planning in the film industry's schedule. However, even the current date may change due to the ongoing stage of project development. Like the original animated series, the new How to Train Your Dragon will be based on the books by Cressida Cowell. This series of 13 novels represents the memoirs of Hiccup, detailing his childhood and journey to becoming the leader of his tribe. Thanks to the 2010 animated adaptation, this book series not only found a new lease on life but also gained widespread popularity expanding its audience of devoted readers. It is expected that the plot of the upcoming remake will closely follow the storyline of the first animated film and expand the canon slightly by showcasing extended scenes from the books. The story will revolve around Hiccup, a young Viking from the Isle of Burke. Universal Pictures confirmed last year that this role will be played by Mason Tams from The Black Phone. Physically, Hiccup is very weak, but he possesses a sharp mind. In the Viking culture of his island, the ability to kill dragons is high highly valued, but Hiccup does not share this passion. He aims to impress his father, the legendary village leader Stoic, by using his inventive abilities to develop new methods of dealing with dragons. Stoic will be portrayed by Gerard Butler, who also voiced him in the animated version. Fans have received this cast quite warmly. Butler will reprise his role, even though the original voice actors for other characters have grown too old to perform these roles in live action. The adaptation of How to Train Your Dragon will significantly differ from Butler's recent projects, providing 
providing him with an excellent opportunity to return to a more successful career in the film industry. It's interesting to note that the original animated series turned out to be one of the actor's most successful projects in his career. Considering this, Universal Studios has already begun actively using his name in the marketing campaign to attract a larger audience of the original fans. As the plot develops, Hiccup discovers that dragons are not as fearsome as they initially appear. Through his training of Toothless, he demonstrates that Vikings and dragons can peacefully coexist. This event marks the beginning of a new era of dragon riders, leading to the creation of several sequels and additional series. Reboots and remakes are often compared to each other, especially when it comes to iconic roles. In the case of Stoic's role, such comparisons may not be as relevant, given that Gerard Butler can bring his unique Scottish accent to the role, which is already familiar to viewers from the original series. In addition to Mason Thames and Gerard Butler, Nico Parker from The Last of Us has joined the cast. She will play the role of Astrid. Julaine Dennison from Deadpool 2 has been chosen for the role of Fishlegs. Gabriel Howell will portray Snotlout. Harry Trevaldwin is set to play Toughnut. And Bronwyn James has been confirmed for the role of Roughnut. The characters are part of Hiccup's friend group that will eventually learn to embrace and not fear the dragons. Nick Frost will take on the role of Gobber the Belch, a Viking who is the trusted friend and advisor of Stoic. This character plays a significant part in the story, being closely connected to the main characters and the Viking community. Gobber's character is known for his humorous and supportive nature in the original animated series. This role in the remake adds an exciting dimension to Frost's diverse acting portfolio. All actors have officially confirmed their roles. At this moment, the exact budget for the upcoming remake of How to Train Your Dragon is unknown. It is expected that the project will feature several dragons that need to be realistically portrayed to resonate with the audience. There are examples of successful films made with relatively modest budgets, like some Japanese blockbusters, where creators achieved believability with limited resources. However, considering Universal's ambitions, it can be assumed that the budget will be substantial by modern standards. The visual effects must be executed with high quality, as in this story, dragons are pivotal characters alongside the Vikings. Overall, the anticipation for the live-action How to Train Your Dragon remake is quite high. The adaptation faces the challenge of living up to the beloved animated trilogy. The movie needs to strike the right balance in its portrayal of dragons, ensuring they are lifelike yet faithful to their animated counterparts. The choice of casting and the direction under Dean DeBlois suggest a strong commitment to maintaining the heart and spirit of the original series. Universal's decision to move forward with this project reflects a trend in the industry to reimagine successful animated films in live action, a strategy that has both risks and rewards. The success of this film could potentially open doors to more adaptations of similar beloved animated properties.